Hi guys, um, welcome to episode 11 of the Journeyman Save. Um, we face Liverpool today in the Merseyside Derby. Um, since we left you, uh, it's gone pretty well. We have been on a right good run. We have not lost a game since that 3-0 loss to Chelsea, uh, apart from the League Cup where I played a uh, reserve team and it was disastrous. Um, other than that, our form in the league has been exceptional. We sit second, three points behind Villa. A couple of draws against said Villa and West Ham. Did see a slip up at Nottingham Forest. Um, but have a look at no, stats. Um, goals wise, Stephen McPhee has been in six. Bojan with five. Uh, David Unsworth getting the assists in. If you have a look at the average rating, everyone's playing really quite well. Um, so, yeah, I'm really, really happy with how it's been. Um, players in. I think you saw everyone come in. Ryan Beal, just a youngster there. Um, he was kind of the last signing to come in, but yeah. We're looking really good. So we have the Merseyside Derby today. Spurs, Fulham, Ipswich, Leeds and West Brom in games coming up. Um, Thomas Gravison is actually leaving the club. He's going to Sunderland for £10 million, Which is really, really great considering he's 28 and his contract runs out and he was never going to sign a new contract. So that's good money-wise as, you know, money's okay, but we're going to about to double what we got when January rolls around. Um... Other than that, let's uh, let's get into the Merseyside Derby. That's the worst Scouse accent ever. I do apologise if that was atrocious. <clears throat> so Liverpool here have got a really good squad. I don't know why I'm playing Josh Walsh at left back. He's decent, but surely got better options. Anyway, whatever. They do have Rafael van der Vaart though. So <clears throat> let's see what we can do. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Uh, Michael Owen going off in the seventh minute there is a great start. <coughs> um, and then uh, Andy Andy Rogers. I've never heard of this guy. Have I never heard of this guy? It's pretty good. It's pretty damn good. This is not the game we want to lose, guys. We've lost one <coughs> or two games season, sorry, one game all season, and uh, and then let's go and lose the Merseyside derby, honestly, sort your crap out, guys, sort it out, just as an injury, we'll get him off at half time, uh, let's change mix passing, and we'll get just off for Arnie, Oh, that's not what we want. Just other than that, everyone's okay, but looking ordinary, looking ordinary. I'm gonna take Gravison off as well. I'm not sure why I started him to be honest. He's a good player. That's why Heskey almost scored them. We're not making any any chances here. <clears throat> More porn. Rodrigo. <sighs> uh, um, that's about all I can really do. Let's give these two a swap around, see if that does anything. Come on, guys. I'll lose this absolutely 1 0. Absolutely 1 0. We're going to lose it off. <clears throat> Not cool. Not cool. Not the start we want, guys. Really, really bad playing. Football. Terrible. Terrible, terrible, terrible. That was an absolute disaster. <clears throat> yep, I'm pretty annoyed too. It was atrocious. How 
Who else was ordinary? Pedro. All right. Well, great start to the episode, as always. Love kicking it off with a loss. Um, we've got Tottenham now next week. Uh, they sit 15th in the league, so um, they are not having a great season. <clears throat> Which is frustrating. I can't believe we lose to Liverpool. Honestly, it was like literally we're playing so well and we come up against Liverpool and we have to play absolute gash. Freddy Dos Santos. Let's find out some more on him. Jean Andre Fredrickson. Ooh. Find out more on him. I don't. I don't mind him. He looks a really pacey left back. <coughs> hey, Yobo. <coughs> so, forgot about that ten mil. That just gives us some nice, nice money. Mm -mm. Yes, I'm not surprised. Tottenham are a very good team. And we're going to have to be on our best to beat them. Um, Peterborough looked to be having quite a tough season. Um... So, Stephen O'Donnell. No, I don't like him. We don't need him. He's not going to improve our squad anymore. <clears throat> All right, Spurs game. Uh, everyone's looking good. Um, we do have... Thomas Radzinski back. Probably going to put him on the bench. Neil McCann. Not very good. But don't tell him that. Um, Alright, let's go. Spurs, Spurs. <clears throat> How's Spurs lining up? We should always check that. Oh, that is interesting. Cool. Probably why you're fifteenth, boys. As they score <laughs> against me, far out. It's a oh, This is about to say, they scored twenty goals this season. Robbie Keane. Oh, it's, it's his continental that's really pushed him up. <sighs> Get in, Mendes. <clears throat> we are looking the better team. Just. Just. Oh, God, thank God for that. Get in, Brnovic. Freaking Robbie Keane, honestly. He is a good player on this. He's really, really good. We'll have a look at him in a minute. Um, let's get some Thomas Radzinski pace on. I mean, phew, off the ball, agility... Great finishing, work rate technique. He's 18 flair. He's a good, good striker on this. And he's only 24 still. Such a good player. Get in. Let's, um... Close the game down a bit. Good stuff. 
Yeah, that's good. We were a little bit ordinary letting them score two from three shots, but um, Pedro Mendes pulled the strings in the midfield uh, to keep us chomping at Aston Villa's heels. Which is good, good stuff. Right, who we got next? We've got Fulham on the Saturday. Dan Ipswich. Um, <clears throat> getting knocked out of the League Cup early and obviously not having any European um, worries. It's just purely games for Everton so far this season, which is kind of nice. Um, so we've managed to maintain that squad fitness. Obviously our squad is quite small. Mm, Cansdale Sheriff. Let's scout him a little bit more. He's decent. We had him at York last year, if you remember. How are York doing? Oh my god, guys. What are you doing? Come on. you got Luke Beckett. Come on. He's playing his balls out. And you guys are... I don't know what you're doing. Cool. This is Stephen Beck is unhappy because I want him to play in the centre and he has adaptability of one, but you know what? Villa lost. That cheered me right up. It's <clears throat> tied at the top here, but we've got a little bit of a gap between us and Chelsea, which is nice. I can't believe we're United are, though. They are quite a way behind us. Very, very un-Manchester United-like in this update. Uh, Angel Morales. Yeah, he's 29, though. Espanyol have got... Tamudu. Tamudu? That dude. He's pretty good. Where are Espanyol? 16th. It doesn't he have a... Yeah, let's add him. Oh, no, I can't. We haven't scouted him. Have we? Uh, I forget. That's what happens when you play so many different versions with different rules all the time. You forget what rules you've applied to what games. <sighs> Confusing stuff. Obviously, uh, if you've forgotten as well, I can only use my um, my scouts. <clears throat> oh, and here we do this again. Duncan Ferguson, with his condition at 13%. Just... Yes. Yep. Yep. David Weir can go. I'd like you to leave. And Duncan Ferguson. Excuse me. Please, Duncan Ferguson, leave. You're on a big wage packet. You're just unfit as all hell. Um, happens all the time when, you, when, you, when you're Everton on him with Big Dunk. It's obviously just something in his... Good signing for them. Chris Bart Williams as well. Good signings. They've got some players there. They should be doing a lot better than 18th. Um, nice. And Shotus. Oh, Shotus is um, sitting in the reserves um, because. Oh, no, he did something. He probably got a red card. And then he got unhappy with me. Um, Oh no, he's been banned. That's right. He got a red card and got banned. That's right. That's why I've got Steve um, Simonson. Simonson? Simonson. On the bench. 
um, and uh, just doing his regular backup thing, backing it up. Oh God, really? Are we? Oh, you know what? Don't corrupt the two weeks, mate. I'm not sure. This guy wants a lot of money for... Do you know what, actually? You're not very good. Duncan Ferguson is shocked that you're finding for unprofessional behaviour. He believes that the fight is totally undeserved and feels you are trying to force him out of the club. You are right, Duncan. You are so very right. Thank God your contract runs out this year. end of this year. 27 grand a week he's on. This is, this is why Everton get in financial ruin in this game. Because they've got like Duncan Ferguson and a whole heap of other players like that. Kevin Campbell is another one. who are on astronomical wages, but are not very good um, in this game. And, yeah. We talk about the game here, not in real life, you know. I don't want to cross Duncan Ferguson. Hells no. He's a scary, scary man. All right, Fulham. Uh, no, he's not. Oh, you know, I should leave players on there like that, just in case at some point I get um, shafted down to a another small league club, Mikel Arteta. Former Everton player, Rodrigo the Broken Toe. Um, and play shift Unsworth up and play light high. Hannah on the bench. Who's sub seven? Oh. What's his face? Ineligible against his parent club. That's alright. We'll get um, Southern on the bench. Cool, cool. Alright. Fulham, 4-4-2. Nice. Casey Werman, good player. Decent, really decent. Good player to sign. Definitely. I got a fairly good team. Pistoni, former Everton player, moved on a Bosman. That was out of my hands. Um, let's go. Loftus Road. Loftus Road. Get in. Bojan Brnovic. All over Fulham. It is all one-way traffic here. Until a right back goes off. And look at that. I've actually got a right back on the bench. Shock, horror. Usually it doesn't work that way. I'm surprised my left back didn't get injured. He's just over on the left. Right, half time. All over Fulham. They've got nothing. They're not having a good season, actually. They are struggled. Oh. Um... Condition wise, Pedro Mendes is getting a bit tired as is oh, thigh injury. Let's get Bojan off. We don't want to uh, exacerbate that thigh injury. Oh, and Light Eye is not playing well either. I'll leave him on for the moment, but we'll um, we'll monitor that and we'll probably take him off. Ericsson and then um, Unsworth. Oh, Sava. Alright. Let's try and get some more of this to get to create some more chances. Disappointing the one shot, one goal thing really irritates me. Rusa. And then McPhee. 
Oh, the icing on the cake, Steve McPhee. Good stuff. Nice solid win. Alan Goma. And the match, good. We're a point behind Villa and six ahead of Chelsea. Oh, Thailander out for three weeks. That is not what I want to see. Robert Southern can come up because he looks good. I really like this right back. <clears throat> I'm not sure who's he was a regen of, but I, he's really good attacking right back. I think he's quick. He's aggressive. Good crossing. Good dribbling could be better. Pace could be better. His his defensive stats aren't very good, but. Set pieces, good stamina, work rate is all right. Teamwork's not bad. <clears throat> I wonder who he is. I wonder. Right, where are we? It's time for Ipswich in a week. And that'll probably be the end of the episode. FA Cup will be coming into that soon. Third round, I believe. Is that third round? Rodrigo, uh, 33, he's a bit old, he's a bit old. Mm, yeah. We'll keep him on there. Switch time. <clears throat> oh my god. Again, we, we just do this every week, mate. Every week. <sighs> yes, Duncan. Uh, let's get Hannah off. Uh, Light High didn't play too well. Get Unsworth back in there. Rodrigo to start. And Light High can go back to the bench. Rodrigo's knackered. He's not going to start. Um, how's Ericsson been playing? Yep, we'll go Ericsson. Gravison on the bench with, I guess, McCann. Oh, Ipswich in there. Marone and Blue. Away kit. Oh, and Watson goes down injured. It's all right. We'll bring Terrell Forbes on. And I'm switching the table here. Fourteenth. Oh, you got um, Paul Gerard, former Everton goalkeeper. <coughs> Tommy Oren. I actually looked at him, I think. Obviously. <sighs> try and get some mixed passing, try and just, you know, try and change some of the style here to get us back in this. And as we are being just. Demolished by Ipswich here. Reduced. Got an injury. It's not going to help. Martin Erickson. Steve McPhee. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is turning out to be quite a doff of... Oh my god. Oh my god. What a comeback. F 
far out. Jesus, that was... We were lucky with that. Arnie, man of the match, he was quite well. Good, actually. Far out, that was poor. That was really poor. Villa beat Liverpool, obviously. Watson out for two weeks and Forbes out for ten days. Great, good stuff. Um, well, that was quite a disastrous episode almost, guys. After only losing one game in the league, uh, Chelsea on the second day, or second game, we then lost the big Merseyside derby, Liverpool. Somehow managed to get a win against Tottenham with a late last minute. Relatively comfortable against Fulham, and then can only draw one all with Ipswich. Um, so, yeah, not good. Um... We're somehow still second. Uh, everyone else seems to be doing a lot worse underneath us. But Villa are running away with it, weirdly. Um, <clears throat> anyway, guys. Um, we will probably come back. Ooh. I don't know when. I'd probably say this would be a good time to come back, but it's right near before the end of the season. It, we might come back for this game here and then pick some key ones here to see how we go for the end of the season. Alternatively, if we have some juicy games in here, FA Cup style, uh, we'll come back. But uh, it's not going too badly, guys. We're second in the league. Um, Manager-wise, I'm the 14th best manager in England and uh, the 503rd best manager in the world. So... Um, uh, I hope you guys are enjoying this series. Uh, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you next time. Bye.